Question number eight. Light sine 45 degrees in the form of in the form one over root a, where a is a positive integer. Hence, simplify root eight over one plus sine 45 degrees, leaving your answer in sad form. Okay, so 45 is a special angle, and we can be able to get that angle. Uh, we do that by using the right angled uh, isosceles triangle, uh, like this one. So this is a, a right angle. So this side is equal to so that. We can say this is 1 and this is 1. So this is 45 and this is 45 degrees. Uh, so Pythagoras theorem will say this side here is root 2 that is uh, the hypotenuse side is equals to the root of 1 squared plus the root of 1 squared 1 squared is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 the square root of 2 that so with that we can be able to say uh, the sine of uh, angle 45 the sine is opposite of a hypotenuse so it is 1 opposite of a hypotenuse which is the root of 2 uh, so we we have managed to express the sign of uh, 45 uh, in this format because now our a here is 2 this implies that uh, we can be able to write uh, uh, root 8 you divide by 1 uh, plus now instead of writing sine 45 we write 1 over root 2 uh, so we have uh, gotten rid of uh, foot, uh, sine 45. So, uh, or we have managed to write it in third form. So this is root 8. You divide by here. You can cross multiply. So this is 1 times root 2. You get root 2 uh, plus root 2 divided by root 2 is 1. Times 1 you get it is 1. So you divide by root 2. Or rather you get the LCM here. Uh, which we can say it is root 8 uh, maybe to understand it better but this is not necessary but I just want to show you how you get this so it is root 2 uh, plus 1 you divide by uh, root 2 so you note here when you do like that you say it is root 8 you multiply you change the sign to multiplication and you write the inverse of this so this is root 2 you divide by root 2 uh, plus 1. Now, you know you can be able to combine this. Uh, so, this is equals to the root of uh, 8 multiplied by 2. You divide by root 2 plus 1. Which is equals to uh, the root of 16 divided by the root of 2 plus 1. So, this means you get this is uh, 4 divided by the root of 2 plus 1. Okay, I'm using the wrong method so that you can understand how I have arrived to this. Now, with that, uh, this is now in third form, but we need to simplify to remove the denominator uh, in the, 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 the third in the denominator and how what we call rationalizing the denominator. So, we write this is 4 divided by the root of 2 plus 1. What we do is we multiply by the conjugate of this, uh, of the denominator. The conjugate is that expression which will be able to give us a whole number in the denominator. And the conjugate, we change the sign. So here it is root 2 plus 1. Its conjugate is root 2 minus 1. So we multiply by uh, root 2 minus 1 divide by root 2 minus 1. Uh, you note here we have multiplied both the numerator by root 2 minus 1 and also the denominator. So that, you know, you, if you cancel this, it will be equals to 1. So it is like we have multiplied our expression by 1. So we have not changed. That is how we remove uh, the third in the denominator. So we multiply 4 times root 2. That should gi give us 4 root 2. 4 times minus 1, that will give us minus 4, you divide by. When you multiply this, root 2 times root 2, you'll be able to get whole 2. Uh, root 2 times minus 1, 
you don't need to write this but let's just show you how you get that it is minus root 2 then 1 times uh, root 2 it will be plus root 2 and then my 1 times minus 1 that will give us minus 1 so this will give us uh, 4 the root of 2 minus 4 divided by so this will go with that root minus root 2 plus root 2 that is 0 2 minus 1 is 1 and when you divide anything by 1 it, it doesn't change so it, our answer is uh, our answer is uh, 4 the root of 2 minus 4 and that is how you work out that so the important thing here is you know how to express uh, uh, special angles in uh, sad special angles are 30 45 and 60 uh, then from there you know how to simplify the the sad or an expression a sad expression uh, what we call rationalizing the denominator so that's how you work out that question